Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Hello there. I'm going to be talking about a TV show called Angel. This is a show that um, spun off from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And when you look at it, I think it's pretty successful. It started in 1999, ran for uh, five seasons, or yeah, five seasons. And when you look back at um, David Boreanaz, the, car- the actor who plays Angel, his beginnings on Buffy were a little weird. He looks uncomfortable. He's not in his thing yet. You know, he doesn't have it down. You can see he's new, a fresh face. And then he's in the pilot episode of Buffy, as a matter of fact. Just someone who gives information and watches. But by the time this show starts being spun out of Buffy's fourth season, he's already established. In the long run, the show pays off. It's a little weird in the beginning. You get a character from Buffy's show, Cordelia, who eventually has great character growth. But it's funny when she first appears and he meets her by accident at a party. He walks away from her going, oh, well, you haven't changed much, you know, and his, he mumbles that she's the same uh, vapid sort of. Well, she grew on Buffy, but she still had this attitude. But on Angel, she really shines and really becomes the the anchor of the show, in my opinion. So over the four seasons, the show, it, it's got a tone shift here and there. Um, Angel's thing on Buffy was epic in the sense of Angel is a vampire who was cursed by gypsies to have a soul. And in the Buffy universe type thing, you bit you turn into a vampire, a demon possesses you, for lack of a better word. Um, and when they cursed him, his soul came back, and he fought on the side of good, helped Buffy. They fall in love, and in a moment of uh, perfect happiness or something, because he gets to be with Buffy, the curse is broken. And he turns back into a vampire, an evil vampire. Well, he's always a vampire, but an evil vampire and jealous. Uh, and he goes on a rampage and it is epic. It's a, one of the reasons why I love Buffy so much, the TV show. And the resolution of the show is, I mean, his arc in that is when he, when Buffy's forced to uh, take care of him, when he comes back with his soul intact, he knows he can't be with Buffy. That'll just, um, I guess, lead to. I see. I don't know if the curse is like broke, can be broken again in that sense. Um, so he decides to leave and go to Los Angeles, and that's the main theme. And the the another character of the show is Los Angeles, and I believe it was filmed there for the most part. So you know, he's two hundred years old. And he's already in his thing, so the show starts off pretty good and has a excellent run, in my opinion. I really like the show. Uh, I don't think it has the impact and the weight that Buffy had. And what's really good, because I'm a big comic book collector, and I was at the time, not anymore, is that when the Bolt shows ended, they continued in a series of comic books directly from the shows how they ended and angels is a pretty weird one uh part of los angeles gets sent to hell and it's like hinted at at the end of the show or like that there's a portal like something opens up and it goes back and forth where i think in the comic book it's shown that los angeles is in a pocket dimension in hell but i think there's the borders the borders are you can go in and out I guess some people could use spells and whatever. The show had some really good characters, developed really good. Another character from Buffy was one of the Watchers. He he also has a pretty good character growth, and I think that's a strength of Josh Whedon's storytelling and his writing, and is all these things about who 
him and his brother, if they write and who gets the credit. Personally, I don't care. Uh, you put out quality stuff and I'm, I'm going to love it. I, I don't really, I don't really mind. The music was great in Angel. Um, I think I would compare it as one of the, it's a, for me, it's a great show. And looking at it critically, it could have its flaws, sure. But I think in the long run, people would really get into it. I think you can get the idea right from the beginning. It's a little bit of a uh, the Angel Pilot is a new mission statement. And it's explained pretty well. And then a side character even comes into it, a new one. Uh, sent by the powers that be, and that's another thing that Angel has been designated or has he and he kind of recaps what's going on so you could probably jump right into the show without having to watch Buffy so that's a bonus and since he's already in the swing of things he's on the mark from the beginning although I noticed that in the beginning of the Angel series they really make him an excellent fighter and you can tell the choreography work from stand-ins I guess and some of the moves he does, it eventually develops into his own type thing. So you don't notice it as much, but you could tell they were going for it. Like, oh, this is a guy 200 years old, a vampire, and he could, you know, do, he's really trained and has expert skills. It kind of reminds me of how, uh, if you watch the Hercules TV show with Kevin Sorbo, they sort of developed their own fighting techniques choreography that was a little bit outrageous but had to do with you know Hercules being so strong and he could just backhand somebody send them flying and Angel gets into that groove so there are some good and bad points but there is a big difference between how Angel starts on Buffy um, he's so young and inexperienced actor wise but he grows so much and either he does the work right do you put in the discipline and practice and well, he just became the character so much that you really saw it, and I guess the producers and them saw it, and they start his um, his run. And when the show starts, it focuses on he wants to make a difference and save people, but he can't be near Buffy. And this messenger from the powers that be want to, wants to put him on the right path. Um, I think they they take things here and there uh, lightly, and I think that's a great asset for um, Josh Whedon's skill. I think they could have twisted the tone here a little bit more, and perhaps they did in certain arcs. But I would have liked to have seen Angel start out as more of a hard-hitting, deep dark brooding show and although that is portrayed in a lot of his character it doesn't become a focus point and a major um you know uh vehicle to move the show forward although i do love where it goes i'm a big fan of the show i love it it just has um like i said a little bit of a tonal shift throughout the show you got some Excellent chemistry between the characters. I hear good things. You know, when you look at some of these articles and you try to do, um, you know, a little bit of research on a show and you find out, oh, who, so-and-so was an asshole behind the scenes. You didn't get that much from this show. Not that I can remember. And they introduced some new characters that have pretty good arcs. You get to really feel for them. They sort of real um one is a gun uh, like a street thug type guy i think he try. i think he starts out as like a vampire hunter he's like getting humans together i think he had a uh a family member a younger brother or something who was infected so he knew about it but for the most part this isn't like um true blood where it's a known thing that vampires are real and they have a synthetic blood and there's some sort of agreement. So for the most part, they still are in the shadows and uh, myths, you know, and type thing. I 
get joy from watching the show again. I probably don't look at it as I would Buffy. But a quality show is a quality show, in my opinion. It hits all the right buttons and the right times. And like, Buffy had a really weird sixth season, I think. A real, um, they took a big chance. Maybe Angel tried to do that here and there, and I think it pays off. But when it's canceled, you feel a little like, what? Like, I would have, I think at the time I was thinking more, oh, they would, what they would do is they would just go into two hour specials. You know, I think maybe I read that somewhere, but maybe that's where they were going to go. But I don't know. Um, I guess I could look back and with hindsight sort of like want to touch up and correct things. Cause I don't like to give a lot of plot and storyline stuff but one of the arcs and the major thing is uh, a son he has a son and I think that's where it goes a little gets a little weird but you know it, it, it works for me but I could see if I'm looking at it critically okay maybe uh, it could have been done better and like I said they have the um, watcher Quote unquote, uh, Wesley from the uh, Buffy series. I think his name is Alex uh, Denisoff. Well, he has a great arc. Cordelia's arc is great. You got one of these characters that like is linked to like a goddess or something. And they really. Um, he's just reading, just great at making characters and introducing some really great characters you're taking spike from uh buffy who's gone back and forth um james mouse masters i think great actor great character on the show you even got this um there's a uh club singer demon guy and he like helps you by you come up and you sing and you do um uh karaoke and he could tell your problems and stuff. It was really part of the show. It worked pretty well. I think there's um, something to be said about that. When you get a show like uh, Angel, it's a spinoff of Buffy. What's it going to take? How's it going to try to make itself new? Um, you know, uh, there's another character called, I think it's Winfred or Fred, played by Amy Acker. Uh, there's a lot of growth, and it, they're usually done really well. I do think there are a little bit more flaws in the show, but I I say it sometimes when I talk about movies. You can do things I don't agree with. You could, you know, make a plot go a certain way, and I'm trying to be neutral, say, okay, I'm disappointed. But if you do it well, it's... It's easy to go and get past it to move on. I would tell everybody to give Angel a shot. You can pick up pretty easy. They do a good job of starting you off, even though it's a spinoff. You get the new mission statement, and you you can get right into it. And fans of Buffy, if you haven't just watched it, I think it's really uh, a good... Um, a good addition to the Buffyverse, if you want to call it that. So I'll talk to everybody next time. Be well, everybody.